Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jaden Irwin. Hopefully you like the new setup, kind of a different angle of the office that I'm showing off here. Um, and a little bit better lighting, I think. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, but today I wanted to show you a little update that I was going to do to the Astro Sanity Minimal Starter. I figured I would just record it. I could just push the change live and no one really ever notice if they end up using it. But um, figured why not make a little bit of content around um, how I'm updating and changing the way that this works. Um, and I figure we can do maybe a little bit of a series too. So you might see some um, other videos in the future of like adding uh, little components and little things to this starter. Uh, mostly on the sanity side and then obviously the front end has to deal with that too, but um, Little things like a code block maybe it would be helpful um, And I'm still calling it the minimal starter because it is going to stay minimal But I think it makes sense to add a couple of little, you know nice touches to the sanity schema and the front end so what we're gonna do today is go to our blog post component and we're gonna change the way that it does the body content of the um, sanity content. So what you'll see right now, we're using this markdown component and this is actually a markdown component coming from Astro. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace that with um, sanity's at sanity block content to react component or not even really a component, it's more just like a helper function. And um, if we go back into blog post, you'll see that we're using Astro's Markdown and we have to convert that to Markdown first. And it works out pretty well in the context of this starter. But I do think that we could add a little bit more flexibility by switching to the um, block, content, block content to react setup. So I'll show you how we'll do that. It's actually really straightforward. We're gonna create a new React component so we would call this sanity block content. And I've gone ahead and already installed the package too. So we're gonna do import. Let's make this a preact component, a little bit lighter weight. And then we're gonna do import block content from at sanity block content to react. And we'll export default function good old copilot makes this a little bit faster um not always right though in this case it's pretty spot on though close that out block content blocks oh <laughs> well, it's pretty awesome if you haven't had a chance to try github copilot definitely take a look at it it is um a time saver for me personally um, and it's worked out pretty well. I mean, it's not always right, but when it is right, it actually can save you quite a bit of typing, which is always helpful. So this is really it. Um, we have our export default function, sanity block content. That's going to be the name of our component. Um, blocks is what will take in as props. And then we're going to pass blocks through to that block content. And let's go over to our... Um, we're gonna pass that into blog post. That's right. So let's go ahead and delete the import markdown. We don't need that anymore. We're gonna take note of this though. So post.body raw is what's getting passed in from the post itself from Sanity. So I'm actually just gonna comment that line real quick. And we're gonna take out convert block content to markdown. We don't need that function anymore. And then we'll comment that and we're gonna do, um, actually let's do our import. Import, and we called it sanity block content from, and same level, so sanity block content .jsx. Do that sanity block content. Remember blocks is what we call that prop that's getting passed in post dot body raw and if all goes smoothly here I have all my packages installed start this so we have our blog we're gonna click on the blog link and we'll open a blog post 
there we go. It is now using the um, sanity block content uh, preact react but preact component um, for our blog content basically. And what's cool about that is if you actually search sanity block content to react, we can go to the package. And if you look at this, you'll see const serializers. And then this takes in some types. So on the sanity side, if we go to close out this astro, on the sanity side, we'll go to block content. That's what's actually getting converted with that component. Um, you'll see that we have a type of image. So that's not really markdown. And back in our markdown setup, we couldn't take in an image by default. We would have had to do some sort of serializer just like this to tell it, hey, like if you get an image inside of this content that you're getting from Sanity, if its type is image, this is what you need to do with it. And with the React setup, it's a little bit cleaner than having to do the serializers through the markdown. Um, and then you're also not restricted to Markdown specifically. You're now able to use React components or web components in this case with this uh, Sanity block content. And that's going to be other videos that I'm going to go through. But, um, you know, just to kind of preview what that would look like, we would do const serializers. Be an object. And types just like this here right so types code and what you can see is happening here is actually the code type would be like a code block and you can tell it hey take in this code type and you can get the language from that code block you can get the code from the code block or you could do something pretty cool which I've thought about doing a video on you could do a custom code block that you know like lets people click uh, copy in the top right corner of the code block and it would copy that code for them so you could you get a lot of flexibility with this setup instead of being restricted to markdown and um, markdown syntax and everything so um, hopefully you guys found that helpful to kind of see how you can update this starter that i created um, there's a lot of flexibility with sanity and astro i think it's a really good combination of technology and um, if you have any questions definitely leave a comment below I'm happy to answer them as best I can and maybe let me know what kind of content you would want to see around this starter um, I've thought about doing like a YouTube embed or a code block and showing what that serializer would look like but um, yeah that's really all I had for you guys today kind of a quick one really just showing you how I'm updating this starter to be a little bit more flexible so uh, let me know if you have any questions again. Hope you guys...